Hey, what's up? In this video, we're going to be learning about isometric collisions. The video is going to be a bit short. So, just let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to look at is the player's collision. If you go to the player scene, and we're going to select one of these animations so you can see it from the side. And you can just change the colors to a bit more contrasty color. Now, you can see this collision shape is setting uh, set it up at a place where you can easily you know see in, in the collision shape is you know at the center bottom between the legs of everything this way uh, the intended effect is achieved because in isometric you also always want to have the collision at the bottom here because the bottom part is kind of the only thing that accurately uh, you know, works with the 2D collision system. Uh, let me explain it a bit more in the dungeon tiles. If we go to the dungeon tiles and select any of the tile sets here, and we go select if we have, you know, have a collision layer here, and go to the tile set menu, you'll see all of these collisions that are set up. Now, these collisions are uh, set up in, you know, kind of thinking these tiles as 3D, and uh, the last point it's set up at a point that where we estimate the you know uh, the behind of this 3d cube would be this way we can achieve a collision look, look in a 3d environment to think and also get these wire sorting let me demonstrate it out a bit more by running the scene and uh, so now if i go to any of these tiles here uh, for example, I'm going to go to, you know, this area. Uh, you can see the collisions is at the bottom. But since it's not at above, we can easily go behind the tiles. But at some point, it's going to hit that corner that we set up. And we cannot fall through it. Same for these pillars. We can, you know, collide with the bottom parts here. Because the collision is set up on these, you know, bottom parts. And easily go behind the above parts. And due to voice sorting, it's looks pretty nice same with the coins and on any of the other objects you set up the collision on the bottom little you know leg points and that's where all of the stuff happens you go to debug and visible collision uh, visible collision shape uh, we run the scene now Uh, you can see these blue thingies. I know the lighting is blue, so it's really hard to see. But you can see there's, there's this blue thing at the bottom right here. You know, this is the collision shape. And that is how it's working. Since there's no collision shape on the player's, you know, head. See, this collision shape is going right above the head because there's no collision here. It's not colliding. And it's colliding with this ball here. You know <laughs> the players balls yeah the bad joke and that's kind of how it works there's nothing too much complex about setting collisions in a asymmetric environment if you keep your head cool and keep setting the collisions on the bottom you're kind of pretty much set and i'll t think that's quite it for today's video now someone did request me to you know create videos on setting of multiple layers and uh, it's really easy and i'm going to be explaining it a bit more in our next video where we do y sorting and uh, you know layering and uh, that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next one